This episode is brought to you by Bumble. So you want to find someone you're compatible with, specifically someone who's ready for a serious connection, totally open to having kids in the future, is a tall rock climbing Libra, and loves rom-coms with vegan pizzas on Tuesdays just as much as you do. Bumble knows that you know exactly what's right for you. So whatever it is you're looking for, Bumble's features can help you find it. Date now on Bumble. Hey there. Did you know Kroger always gives you savings and rewards on top of our lower than low prices? And when you download the Kroger app, you'll enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And don't forget fuel points to help you save up to $1 per gallon at the pump. Want to save even more? With a Boost membership, you'll get double fuel points and free delivery. So shop and save big at Kroger today. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Restrictions apply. See site for details. What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done, a huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day. Welcome. Um, my name is Mark, and I'll be the um, death doula running this class today. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Um, I'm sure you all know since you're here, but kind of the way this works is um, we always have a doula to help bring us into this world, but we have such challenging relationships with the idea of death. Mm-hmm. I help come to terms with the idea if you or a loved one is facing something like that. Thank you, Mark. Mm, thank Thanks, you, Mark. Mark. Um, a thing I like to get out of the way right at the beginning is, yes, I am a man. Um, a lot of people expect their doula to be female, mm-hmm. but don't worry. I got you. All right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not worried at all. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Great. Yeah, so, thank you, Mark. Great. It's actually making me feel more comfortable. When, oh, okay. When you tell me you get me, um, I feel very safe, and thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I got you. You're welcome to each of you. So, um, Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. And you as well. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Very, very gracious. Hey, Mark, I have a question. Yes. Um, So this is not exactly death duel related, but I am a single mother and my son is going through puberty. So what's the best way that I can help him with that? Well, life is full of little deaths in a sense. Whoa, Mark. Um, And it does seem like, thank you for your appreciation for that statement. (laughs) Um, I, of course, don't. You know, this is a, I am aware, of an expensive class and a short one, so I don't want to waste anyone's time. <laughs> That's true, Mark. That, that is true, Mark. Thank one you day, for saying A one-day workshop. The rate is very high. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mark. I don't want to waste anyone's time by addressing an issue that's not directly dealing with our death issues, but since you brought well, it up- Well, he is going to die one day. That's good for you to be aware of. Thank you. Um, Hopefully thank not you, Mark. puberty. So what, what I, I guess- yes, <laughs> you would, Very interesting. As a man in out. the class, I'm sorry. I don't thank know. You. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I did almost die of puberty. That's oh. how it felt. Not, oh my not God. physically, but sure. a version of myself. So maybe I should be asking you, thank you, Mark, but maybe I should be asking you what my son should do. Well, I think he has, my, one of the first things I would say is he's got to start wearing deodorant early. Oh, shoot. Push him towards deodorant. Mm-hmm. Okay. That makes a lot it's of gonna sense. It's going to seem like judgment, but it's going to save him a lot of embarrassment. Okay, great. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Great. Uh, just going forward, nobody else kind of do the doula thing here just for how oh, I guess, um, thank I'm you, sorry Mark. Mark. thanks Mark. I, I'm sorry. it's just kind of like uh, it's like the army you wouldn't want someone else to be your staff oh, sergeant all of a sudden yes. drill ladies i know i am a man but i am not a doula yeah oh, th- yeah thank uh, you for saying thank that you for saying You're very that. and thank yeah. you mark thank you for highlighting that um thanks, i would Mark. say i mean that was a great um the deodorant is a great you know masking tape on some of the issues with puberty mm-hmm. but what, what we're actually it holds it with, together 
Well, Mastiff wasn't exactly the right word, but I couldn't think <laughs> right, of it, right. and I didn't want to take a long Thank pause. you for admitting okay. that, Mark. Yeah, thank you, Mark. You're very welcome. <laughs> I, I How about this going forward? I have assumed that you are thankful for everything I'm doing here. Oh, and... <laughs> Thanks, Mark. That's so sweet. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I'm glad you feel That's appreciated. Really sweet to hear. <laughs> Maybe right now we could all do one big thank you f- to everyone for being here and then never thank anyone again for the rest of the class. Okay. Would okay. that be Wow. Yeah. Would that be okay? Mm-hmm. It would. That sounds lovely. Um all right. So um three, two, one. Thank, thank you, you, Mark. Mark especially. And to you all. Great. And thank thank you guys for being here and allowing yes. me to both witness and um be witness. Yes, and I want to say thank you for your service. I noticed your work. Your fatigues. Maybe that's why I thought of a staff sergeant drill instructor. Yeah, I was going to say. Just, <laughs> are I, you? You I, must have come straight from work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I actually, I just got back from my deployment. Um, and uh, I I just want to say that when I was serving, mm. um, I felt so grateful just to know that I had this uh, death doula program to come mm. back to. Um, and what was your name again? Birth. Wow. Well, thank and you, Bertha. Isn't that fascinating? Oh, thank you, Bertha. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, short for Bertha, but um, but I do oh. go by Birth. Um, thank you, Birth. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm sure that you had a lot of confrontations with the idea of death and mortality, and um, yeah, I'm sure yeah. you'll have a lot to uh, discuss with that. I do want to just get to really quickly the puberty thing. Oh, thank you, Mark. Your son is dealing with the kind of the death of his childhood oh. and the birth of a new period of his life and oh. so one thing that you could have him do is together imagine maybe having even a funeral for the childhood version of your son oh. but also a celebration afterwards for the new era of his life oh thank you mark that, that is such helpful. a nice idea you should bury your son i was gonna say <laughs> a 13 year old yeah that's genius and I he likes dirt weird. you know yeah. he's into um the creepy crawlers so and if you wanted anyone to do um at your son's live burial a um a, a proper uh 21, tw- gun salute. 21 gun salute just know that i am i would love that i, I could come thank and, you birth uh, yeah i would love that thank you and what's your name uh stink Thank you, Stay. You're welcome. You, Stay. And short for birth, though, of course. Oh uh, yeah, it's like Dick and Richard, where it's like I exactly. guess I exactly. get it, but not really. Thank yeah. you, Mark. Exactly, Mark. You're welcome. No more. <laughs> what Thank did you. you really want to lead with today? I feel well, like we've been so eager to be eager that we haven't really. <laughs> we haven't really let you lead, and I apologize. No, thank. But you. also, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Yeah. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price. Priceline. Isn't the point of traveling to get away from it all? To feel the best you've ever felt? Then maybe you should check out Aruba. You'll spend your time relaxing on cool, white, sandy beaches and floating in healing blue water. You'll meet locals brimming with gratitude for an island that redefines what a paradise can be. When your trip comes to an end, you won't need another vacation. Because you just had the vacation. That's the Aruba effect. Plan your trip at aruba.com. (laughs) <laughs> once you tell once you say goodbye to thank yous it's almost hard to, to you realize how much you it really it comes in it, the knock comes louder actually. yes yes yeah. that's well said mm-hmm. uh birth. birth thank you um well what i'd like to do here is i i wanted to i think we we've gone um up on time a little bit but i wanted to get to know what everyone's current (laughs) relationship is with death and maybe what you are all facing i of Mm. course have your note cards here so i can share on your behalf but i want to give you all the uh, opportunity to let you share and then we can talk about how that's going to feel sure no thanks Um, i'd like for you to share mine okay great i can start with uh, you and um you didn't write your um kind of nicknames on here i just have two berthas so um which one is bertha uh um Bertha Anderson. What's the first sentence? <laughs> My name is Bertha Anderson. Oh, that's me. Okay, thank you, Sting. You're welcome. 
scene. No, no, keep going. <laughs> I could have done well, that. Can, like, mono scene, mono scene. We can do a mono scene in it. We can cut the edit. We can just keep going. Folks, welcome oh. back to the Man Dog Pod. My name is Ryan Rosenberg, and I'm one of your hosts with the Mediumist. I'm here with my good friend Dan Lippert, who just took a sip of coffee. Is he ready to say hi? I've swallowed. Yes, very oh. good. Welcome, yes, Dan. Thank Hello, you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> and Mark. welcome our wonderful guests, who you've already heard, Maggie Widows. Hi. Hello. How are hi. you today? Really good. good. Having a nice time already. Me, you too. Know? Me yeah. too. Me too. And Caroline Cotter. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks and for having me. How are you me. today? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Good. Um, well, well, <laughs> glug. Glug, glug. glug yes everybody who's listening for a long time knows about the glugger fish mm-hmm. uh and i feel like the glugger fish in the bidet because everyone comes here and that's the first th- thing oh. everyone sees so it comes up on the pot a lot well it feels mm. like you're um not to bring it back to our previous scene of birth and death but you're really welcoming people with in a water feature feature mm. oh, oh, oh i am a water sign am yeah. i what's scorpio mm. that's a fire that's sign, fire sign yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know anything about signs. Mm, uh, I do love water, though. Yeah, yeah. You guys feel at home at, in water? Oh, I do. Yeah, me too. Did you or, guys swim? Were you on like swim teams? No, I'm, I can't swim. Like... I'm so bad at swimming. Yeah, I what? can tread water. You can I, tread it seems water. like you would be a swimmer to me because no. you're kind of an athlete. Right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this: is that one time my sister tried to teach me, and I was saying before we started recording, my sister's like very, very nice, and she like takes a lot of shit from me she tried to teach me how to swim and i made her cry so she stopped oh no and then like a week later i had a test for becoming like a lifeguard i was like 16 maybe (laughs) and so sorry you took that lifeguard test a week after you were learning how to swim this is and couldn't (laughs) and couldn't (laughs) look look look. okay so I, i thought in my mind i was like i can figure it out right so The test, it was like five or six other people taking the test. And the first, they're like, okay, just get in the, (laughs) get in the water, warm up, just do like five laps back Mm -hmm. and forth. At the second lap, I was like, I'm so sorry, but I have to stop. And she's like, no one has ever quit this early into the test. She's like, this is not even the test. (laughs) This is the warm up for the test. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to fight waves and be tired and then start saving someone. Yeah. Yeah. So not, yeah, not a good swimmer wow it's it's so funny because swimming to me is almost like walking where i can't imagine mm. not knowing how to now yeah. that i know how you know i can't remember like learning it and not getting it but yeah. i know there was a time did right. you not you're like you weren't in classes as a kid i, and, like, I was and and... i can swim like sure. i can swim and tread water and stuff but i just can't do it correctly mm-hmm. like the way i do it it just takes too much it's inefficient and exhausting. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. I've been try. I've been trying to learn how to do it better, but I can't. I'm too, f- mo- too frustrated. I mean, it isn't natural. Everyone has to be taught as a kid. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, it's not super natural. Mm-hmm. But you know what super. is now a practice that these parents are doing? Toss them in. Yeah, toss them in. Like so six month old babies, too. because it is natural, right? To a certain extent, yes. Our ability to exist in water is how we exist in womb. In, in womb. womb. So slightly different. You're hooked up and to I a was doing the breathing fucking for you. Fly <laughs> ninety <laughs> fly in there. Yeah, you your know? mom had the most uh, <laughs> yeah. difficult, painful. I tore ever. that shit. Up. <laughs> Cannonball. Yeah. Um, uh, you penciled out, right? <laughs> That's how you were born. <laughs> you feel yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. All my all her sonograms were of me, um, my wingspan. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, I was just like a Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Do you remember how you felt when the teacher told you, or the what, the whoever the proctor uh, mm-hmm. told you that it was the earliest anyone, or like even the feeling mm-hmm. of a- asking to give up? I think that I, yeah, I felt awful. And then I was confused because she was confused that I was, qu- you know what I mean? She, mm-hmm. like, she didn't understand that I couldn't do it. Um, and yeah, I don't usually like give up on things. And I think I just was like, I literally can't do this. I felt so bad. I'm sure I was like crying. Um, and then I think my sister came to pick me up from the place and I was like, I couldn't fucking do it. And it's all your fault. Ugh. Like, it's like, I'm the problem. I'm so mean to my sister and she's mm-hmm. nothing but like nice to me mm-hmm. and yeah. kind. I get it. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I was talking to somebody and they were talking about uh, they they worked for a aptitude company that would like do like mm. t- give, give all these like tests and like personality aptitude and then would like tell you what kind of field you'd be good in. But he was saying that um the like a huge marker for success, which everybody may know and I probably did, but like don't think about it, is basically your uh, how you react when you've you're in the middle of a difficult task and there's yeah. more to go. Yeah. Like, are you someone who's like 20 more miles in this marathon or are you like mm-hmm. one more mile, then another mile, then yeah. another resilience. mile? Yeah, resilience. And like how much that is a marker of life success. Mm. And I am a, uh oh, I'm tired. Oh no, I'm just gonna get more tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. fuck, it's gonna be exhausting. Yeah. And I'll like, I'll quit so quickly, so yeah. easily. Mm-hmm. I think that's a tough thing for a lot of smart people because you're smart and you like excel easily. And then when you don't, it's really stressful. Mm. It's like, that's yeah. how I feel at least a little bit when yeah. I'm like, I things kind of come easily to me except for the things that don't. And then I just never try them. Mm. Yeah. And then it's like. I can get really good at the things I'm already good at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't improve at something I'm bad Interesting. at. Right. It's the It's the perfectionist uh mindset Mm -hmm. thing of like oh well if i'm not going to be an expert at it why am i going to do it i already have to be fully realized yeah i can't just get better Mm -hmm. i'll tell you who's really well like we were just saying who's very good at it is my friend caroline here and now what's who's she because and well first of all she's a bitch and a slut Uh, (laughs) (laughs) okay wait that's sounding familiar maybe you know her yeah 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 um (laughs) yeah and uh because Caroline does a lot of act like she's really good at activities, but also like <laughs> the okay. the the thing of like um that it's practice rather than uh, the final result yes. of like um Caroline is a really good she picked up years ago re picked up ice skating and and recently. I started going with her because mm-hmm. I skated as a kid and I was like oh this is great because it's like good for the brain to be doing something knowing that I don't need to be good at ice skating, mm-hmm. but I'm just out here practicing. Like, mm-hmm. like my- and then you can actually have fun with it. There's right. no actual yeah. like end goal. Totally. And it like helps um, you create that in other parts of your life too, mm-hmm. I think, is just to have things that don't matter. The end goal does not matter. Yeah. Entering into more of a growth mindset. Mm-hmm. There's I'm about that growth to- mindset. Uh, you mm-hmm. have to be. Yeah. You have to be. Yeah, I'm full growth mindset. I listen to <laughs> Andrew Huberman 24-7. Yeah. I'm waking Dude. up at 3 a.m. taking cold showers. Let's go. Um, you came over, I would say, exhausted, wet, and tired, and, <laughs> and, chi- and chilly. <laughs> yeah. Gasping yeah. for breath. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we have done a, co- let's not pretend you and I haven't together done a cold plunge. Mm. Well, that is the first thing I was going to say, is that Maggie around water, I thought I liked water, but Maggie around water is like, I'm she's a like a different, she becomes like a dolphin. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? She's a freak for it. I love bodies. I love jumping into bodies mm-hmm. of water. Like if Nothing I, better. it's the best. Where like, if if there is a river, a lake, anything nearby, it's you like, must. I don't even need to spend like the day there, but I have to get inside the water. Mm-hmm. Um, and that is, I didn't know that that wasn't how everyone else felt yeah. until yep. uh, recently. I, I think, think that's mm-hmm. a good quality. Yeah, I think so. A I, wet I, girl. I, and that's why I'm a wet girl. <laughs> wet girl. A bitch and a yeah. slut and a wet girl. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. This is a story about a bitch and a slut and a wet girl. <laughs> and there's only two people. <laughs> <laughs> She's so lucky. <laughs> uh, did you grow up near water? I grew up in LA, so yes. But I honestly think I went to a summer camp that was on a lake, and that was so jealous of that. It was what about lake life? Yeah, some. And how old were you in this thing? I mean, I went for like ten years, starting when I was like nine. That's yeah. so cool. Into being a counselor and like, and it wasn't like a super nice lake. It was like pretty small, but it was like what. It was wet, but first and foremost, it was wet. Oh, Camp Wet Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where I got the nickname. Yeah. Um, and I met my fellow wet girls. Uh, Everybody at the camp got the same nickname, but yeah. okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was like, and you were required to, sw- to take a swimming class. Mm-hmm. Mm. So like I had to be good. At a certain age, you have to go through junior lifeguard training. Damn. Um, All right, who... Uh, uh, 
camp hunk were there hunks there or who was the camp like let me tell you. uh who were you oh, yeah, scared of question. who did you want to be friends with okay so it was an all-girls camp oh, okay, but that's right. we had a that. brother camp and the dry camp. Camp Pinnacle. And they were dry <laughs> as a boat. Dry boy. <laughs> Not allowed. They okay, were just they were sounds like they fit together. Yeah. <laughs> and um wanna know something fun in terms of giving you the aesthetic of things. My camp was in um the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, and Ooh. the movie Heavyweights was filmed at both <gasps> our camp and the boys' camp. Wow. wow. Heavyweights was like my favorite same. thing as a kid. Yeah. My dream. That and Camp, camp Nowhere. Oh, I feel like they were so the same good. era, and it was just like kids at camp. It really yeah. struck a chord. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was. Um, were you there when they were shooting it? No. No. No, no. But uh, wow. in our gym, there was like a painting of um, a girl uh, canoeing. And Soaked. you can see, and and she's just like <laughs> dripping wet, um, and she's wetter than the lake. Um, and, and was it wet to the touch? Yes, okay. they actually they added a water feature oh, nice. above it, so oh, nice. it, it like looked a like painting. yeah, a water painting exactly. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but you could tell underneath her t-shirt. Um, like it was painted over whatever the camp in uh in heavyweights was oh. like the symbol for the camp is underneath like the paint is thin and you can mm. see it right. underneath camp yeah. Perkis. yeah yeah well it became camp, camp huberman yeah. it became Perkis, but yeah i love that i want to go to, i want to go to camp still me too, me too. like wouldn't it be I, there must be like adult camps like that there are yeah yeah i want to go to that they feel very um i mean just naming someone who's not here but they feel very gilly uh-huh. An adult camp, like uh-huh. a fun place mm. where adults just go play. Right. Yeah. Maybe now socially I wouldn't enjoy it. Like meeting a bunch of strangers at camp kind of sounds yeah. like my nightmare. Yeah. But the activities, it's the activities. I would really like. If you could go with friends, yes. that would be fun. We had yes. a friend who had their wedding at a summer camp. Mm-hmm. And we, that's really. That's where Maggie, I learned about her water kind of feature. Yeah. Anyway. Every morning I'm saying, who we're getting in the water. Mm-hmm. Who's going, who's oh, going yeah. with me? Yeah, you know, yeah. first thing, mm-hmm. boom. Um, we had at uh, uh, Devin and Victoria's wedding, they, it was up in like Arrowhead, and oh, there was nice. a hot tub that didn't get heated one night, and we still were all like, and it was like raining, and yeah. we're like, we're getting in the hot yeah, tub, yeah, and we'll just, to. we'll just run in circles to warm our bodies yeah. up and mm-hmm. hope it heats up, because yeah. you have to get in the water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it. Like that. Mm-hmm. You really do. Uh, all right, everybody, so... Um, welcome to Camp Wet. Um, this is a camp for, uh, you know, various kids who either love water or who are maybe scared and haven't had a chance to do it. And so yes, it's just a great you. way to integrate everybody here mm-hmm. for all the activities. Yeah. I can't wait. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited so to be here. So excited to be here. I think I know who the people are who love water then. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Um, uh, I have a question. Yeah. Is it possible to get a dry toilet? <laughs> Oh, what do you mean a dry toilet? Well, because we have to flush the water. Are you? What happened? Are, I just, are you? Um, I'm really small, so I don't know if anybody here knows. I'm, I'm really small. I'm really narrow. So it's happened a couple times at home where I accidentally fall into the toilet bowl. Um, oh, no. And I just don't like water at all. So I'm hoping if we could get like a dry toilet or something. Oh, careful! You're crying. Oh. <laughs> Someone say something that's gonna change my emotion. Uh, somebody stop me! <gasps> that's that my was favorite so movie. Funny. That was so good. Awesome. That was so funny, oh Mr. God. Dave. Thank you, Mr. Dave. You're Thank you, Mr. Dave. Welcome. Well, look, I'm hoping to show you. <laughs> I'm hoping to show you that actually. I know that the water is what's scary when you fall into the toilet, but the water is not what you should be scared of. What? Uh, there's greater fears for you. Like uh, what? Well, Robbers, in- killers, <laughs> thieves, <laughs> murderers. Thank you. I think you censored something that I don't think you anyone else wanted to talk about here. So just picture the uh, worst okay. thing. Even. Yeah. Um, it, but, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, look, I know I get you're too small for the toilet and you fall in sometimes. Uh-huh. But the real issue isn't the water there. It's the toilet seat being too big and wide. And, and you wet. Through it. A lot of people are taking yeah. poops having just gone in the water and the seats are wet. So you could slip I in. I slipped in. Yeah. We should talk about that, actually. So before we even get to the fun, it's the there are some wet ground rules. And the first one is, even if you've toweled off after the water, when you sit on the toilet, your swimsuit was still wet, so your buttocks and your uh, uh, upper thighs and all of that mm. will be wet. So okay. make sure to pants down, 
Dry off, then sit on the toilet. I know, I just like the water so much. <laughs> I don't want to get it off my body. But, but remember, right after you use the toilet, you'll get to go right. But first, you get to wash your hands with the water, and then you get to go right back Question, in. question. Since it's water camp, can we go number two in the shower while it's running? Oh, aqua dump, aqua <laughs> dump. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, it's an interesting question. I'm so glad you asked because the answer is no. So I'm glad we have it out interesting. there. Interesting. And I'm also so curious what the connection is of since it's a water camp, <laughs> can we go number two in the show? <laughs> well, I came here hoping that I wouldn't be dry all summer. I I'm in see. the lake. I'm in the canoe. I'm in the shower taking number two. I really want to <laughs> do it. I love it's that was almost a song. You should think about that. I went to Rhyme the... Camp last year. Oh, oh. boring actually. Boring. Yeah, really? dry as hell. I dry bet as too. hell. Yes. Yeah. I didn't even have the camp name rhyme. Mm. Uh, uh, but um, you cannot <laughs> boop in the shower. Um, but th- don't worry. You will have to once you dry off to go to the bathroom, which seems to be an issue for everybody. <laughs> we get to get wet right again. We have water beds here. Yes. Um, and you know, uh, every morning we start the morning, we wake you up by dumping water on your faces. Oh, baby! Uh, so it's it's something really exciting here at Camp Wet, in my opinion. Um, can I so, go home? Well, the reason you're here mm-hmm. is because we're trying to integrate the water into your life. So if you're still not liking it after a few days, you can. But let's just start today with some very basic Camp Wet stuff. Okay. Uh, And and we'll see how that feels, Mm -hmm. all right? I've been in water a lot. If you ever need help, let me know. Okay, thanks. That's great. We'll actually have a buddy system here. So um, we're partnering people who have been in water a lot with people who are scared of water, and you can learn to empathize with each other. So I need you to remember as a buddy that this is not very easy for your buddy there. Mm. So don't expect them to want to be in the water just as much as you do. Am I supposed to poop in the shower now? That's empathy. I'm, I'm really just, I'm just really kind of pissed off now. <laughs> oh, Wait, Mr. Ooh. Dave. I'm sorry. Mr. Dave. I've never had to deal with this pooping in the shower thing. It is so unsanitary. I don't know where the question came from. I feel like you're, you're becoming a bit of a bad apple with this stuff. We're going to shove it down the drain. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My parents said there aren't any bad apples, just bad people. <laughs> Or in worms, in apples. The apple's good. It's that it has a worm. Yeah, but my mom said that there's no bad worms, only bad people. Your mom's crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, she is. She is. I'm sorry. It's not I'm fair sorry. that he said that about my crazy freaking mom. All right, we can't Splash. use words so like. All right, yes, let's do a water reset. A water <laughs> reset. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, he's so fast. I wish we didn't have this meeting on an island. Well, it's the only way to get back to the camp after the no. meeting. We can canoe in. I did it. I will say, even though I love water and I obviously love wet camp, I didn't like when you guys drugged us and blindfolded us <laughs> and then took us to, <laughs> took us to this island because how did we get here? I understand that. And that's something we shouldn't even tell our parents about. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mr. Dave. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. thank you. Even uh, if I tell my mom anything, it doesn't matter because she's freaking crazy. Sure. And we're sorry to hear that, but we are happy that you're here. <laughs> She's seriously <laughs> mentally ill. I'm really not trained to start... deal with this type of conversation. <laughs> they say it's going to start showing in me any day now. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That must be very challenging to see in the future and deal with in the moment when you've already got to deal with the fact that you fall into toilets also. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Dave, when did you learn to swim? Mm. I love that question. Uh, I grew up on a lake, a lake uh, called Lake Powell on the Ooh. Arizona-Utah border. Mm. Uh, and so we would go swimming all the time. Uh, my parents threw me into the water as a kid, mm. and I just took to it very naturally. Yeah, it's mm. the most natural thing in the world. That's very true. Um, thank you very much. And so I love You're welcome, swimming. Mr. Dave. But I have a brother who drowned. <laughs> 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 That's sad, Mr. I Dave. Agree. He kind of, Mr. Dave. Why'd like you do it? Yeah, yeah, with that voice. Well, no, just because you know it's not great news, and I wanted you to know that. that I, am I feel like sad you've got, become it. a lot more sort of cartoonish yeah. in your in your behavior since so you started you talking stop about. Stop observing me when I'm dealing with how to talk <laughs> about trauma. Oh, oh my God, you work here because you've never been able to put it down that maybe it was your fault, and now you're trying to make everybody safe in water. Oh my. 
one other thing we have here is uh, a dunk tank. Um, so fun. But this time, the thrower and the dunker get dunked, so <laughs> everyone gets to be in the water. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, can I put Can I put uh, this one in the, in no. the tank? No. Please, please. <laughs> no. No. Please, I'm so scared. Quit being such a dry blanket. <laughs> See, <laughs> yeah. folks thank you for listening to another episode of the man dog pod mm-hmm. uh we had i'll say the time of our lives what a gas. Uh, yeah yeah parentheses good riddance <laughs> uh thank you so much to our guest maggie widows where can people find you what would you like to plug um uh uh people can find me on instagram at m wids m w i d s and um, what a great handle by the way yeah it's short it's short simple. thank oh. you I know I wasn't Jealous. able to get it on everything, but Jealous. early adopter. Um, and uh, uh, Caroline and I have two podcasts, mm. actually. Mm-hmm. One with uh, our friend James Dwyer, and that is called Stinkers, and it's very fun, and that's been long running. And we have a new podcast mm-hmm. called Softcore, which, speaking about bringing sexuality to improv, it is um, talking about horny and desire and feelings, mm-hmm. and it's fun and weird. It's great, and it's like a YouTube podcast. Yeah, you guys have video yeah. and everything. You, you got to get visuals on there. Yeah, I mean, you guys know. I've oh, seen absolutely. it. It's a fantastic yeah. show. Mm-hmm. I love that you guys wear like a silk robe. Yeah, that's right. We're trying really to bring scary. back like weird seventies um, swinger vibes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it's working mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I buy it. Yeah. yeah. Softcore and sw- and um, uh, uh, stinkers. stinkers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Caroline, is there anything else you'd like to plug, or where else can people find well, you? Well, they can find me at Cotter Poop on Instagram, and I just want to issue kind of a public apology. Fantastic for- screen name, by the way. I have to say, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Yeah, was short, so that was so kind of, short yeah. and concise. Yeah. <laughs> Memorable, especially mm-hmm. in that in the world we live in, where I know people first by their their, yes. their mm-hmm. handle. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Cotter yeah. Poop. Yeah, Cotter Poop. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. I guess I should be called Cotter Piss after today. You know? um, I'll just say I couldn't hold it in. I uh, drank so many liquids. Mm-hmm. Um, That's awesome. But the beautiful toilet experience. So thank you both for that. Uh, on behalf of Dan's toilet, you're welcome. Mm. And on behalf of my me and my toilet, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> thank you for enjoying yourself. <laughs> uh, and we always like to thank Annie Wu for our logo, Casey Trailer for our theme song, and Trenton Oliver for our editing and production help. Brian, is there anything we need to plug in two days? Big Grandes at UCB, as we are every fourth Sunday. Uh-huh. Um, and anything else? I think that's really it right now. Um, thanks to everybody who's listening. Thanks to all the patrons for supporting us. And uh, tell a friend. Thanks again, Aww. Caroline and Maggie. Thank thanks, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So fun. Bye. 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 Thank, you, Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. What's up, Man Dog Pod listeners? Thank you so much for tuning in to today's free episode. If you want to hear the full episode, it's available over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. We've got full episode audio and video for everything we've done, a huge archive of tons of fun stuff with all your favorite comedians. Check it out today. Once again, that's patreon.com slash you're the man now dog. Thanks so much and have a great day.